The Lord be with you. As Christ shared his peace with each of us, let us now share that peace with each other. Peace be with you. Friends, we have gathered here to praise God and to witness to our faith as we celebrate the life of our brother Fidel Valdez Ramos. We come together in grief, acknowledging our human loss. May God grant us grace that in pain we may find comfort in sorrow, hope, in death, resurrection. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, yet shall they live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I hold the keys of hell and, heaven and death. Because I live, you shall live also. There is season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to keep, and a time to cast away. Let us know.
Let us pray. O God, who gave us birth, you are ever more ready to hear than we are to pray. You know our needs before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Give us now your grace that as we shrink before the mystery of death, we may see the light of eternity. Speak to us once more your solemn message of life and of death. Help us to live as those who are prepared to die. And when our days here are accomplished, enable us to die as those who go forth to live, so that living or dying, or life, our life may be in you, and that nothing in life or in death will be able to separate us from your great love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. be seated. May we hear some words of remembrance from Mr. Ed Damis, President of Silimanians in Metro Manila, and Ms. Angela Valdez Timtiman from Mississippi Cosmopolitan Church. All removed. We're safe. We had our antigen test. Right. First of all, on behalf of the Silimanos in Metro Manila, we won't say condolence. We would like to say we rejoice with the family of FBR. The reason is we know where exactly where he is. He finished his mission and is there enjoying the company of no one else but the one who gave him his very life, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'd like to remember him three in three stories. Number one, people power. Okay. Uh, I was part of the agency that put together, that published the coffee table book, People Power. And one of our clients was Bosch and Lomb, the makers of Ray Bun. So they said, we want to honor the hero of EDSA. We want to give him one of the commemorative collector's item, aviator's sunglasses. The very model that was used by General Douglas MacArthur. 
But in this case, it's gold laden. So we arranged to present it to him. We um, got the maker in uh, Cavite to make a handcrafted box. There's a seal, and then there's a certification that says it's one of the very, very few. So we arranged it, we went to his office. So I had with me the two senior executives of BNL US. Very excited, we came up with a program, the presentation, we can talk about the history of the, the glasses, how it was crafted, blah, blah, blah. So they were there waiting right at the entrance of his office. So holding on to the, the box. So while we're waiting, where's General Ramos? He came from behind. He said, hey, Iho, ano yan? And they start fiddling with the, the box. So, so we're so surprised. We had to wing it. We, we, uh, we had to forget the, the presentation. He started putting gla the glasses already. Got his, uh, his uh, cigar, had the picture. So we reversed the whole thing. But our clients were so impressed. They were so honored to be in the presence of the living hero of EDSA. Number two is... That's one. I was privileged to organize the Palaron Pamasai in 1987 for the very first major event in the Narciso, Narciso Ramos venue, a very beautiful venue in Pangasinan. So uh, it was organized by the Pangasinan Economic Development Foundation. All right. GMA7, um, boss was there. In the meeting, he, he asked, I, I want to make sure that the uh, construction is going on Smoothly, I don't want to rely on the report. Okay, can you go there and visit? We're putting together the program. Sure, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do? Take pictures of what's happening. Okay. So, and I was asked to report to uh, uh, Campaginaldo. And our ride was an open chopper. Yui chopper, my very first time to ride a chopper. And then there's no door. And nobody told me how to put the blasted uh, uh, seat belt. So we went there, and I was trembling, and my hair was standing all over. And uh, after halfway, I managed to find it. They were just looking at me and, and, and smiling. After we landed, he gave me the thumbs up. I survived. President Ramos practiced this empowering leadership. He knows the mission to give to people. He knows they will rise above the challenge. And thankfully, I survived the challenge. In 97 also, we were privileged to organize the first Philippine Willathon in celebration of the Year of the Disabled. So we came up with this idea of having 100 athletes on wheels to race from Quirino Grandstand, half marathon, 21 kilometers, the finish line is at the Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia in Cainta, Santa Lucia Mall. And uh, the protocol officer told me the president is so busy, he's going to be there probably 20 minutes just to give the awards. So it's okay. All right. Right before the finish line of the, the leading, leading uh, athlete, President Ramos arrived. He got off at the one kilometer mark and he started running. He started running with the one who eventually won. Not only did he spend more than 30 minutes, he was there for over an hour, one hour and 15 minutes. He spent time to take all the pictures and talking to the, the parents, the family of those who participated, as if he had all the time in the world. President Ramos can give you that. Regardless of how much busy he has, he always finds time to give time especially to the list of them all, especially church-related events. He would always find time. How did he manage to, to do all the things he, he did while he was here? He was, as a lot of people said, he was the man for all the seasons. He did so much until the very last time. Why? Because he did not depend on his own power. He depended on the one who gave him the, the, the wisdom, the talents, that's why he accomplished a lot. So when you look back at what he did, the last of the authentic heroes of EDSA, the other two being Cardinal Sin and of course President Corey, the last one, we can say that he finished well. He won the race, he kept the faith, he finished well. And I think that's the, the 
message that he wants us to remember him by. Not him as the great man, but him as the son, the believer of the great God that he had. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Sir, maraming salamat po. Good evening, everybody. Um, well, of course, we, the Valdeses, joined the Ramoses. We are family and grieving during this time, but at the same time celebrating a life well lived, that of our beloved Manung Eddy, Uncle Lolo Eddy. With your indulgence, I will read what I wrote. I don't think I'd be able to finish or go through this without, so I thought I'd better read. Well, last night, members of President Ramos' cabinet and staff spoke of him as a statesman, leader, a working and thinking president. Tonight, I will speak on FBR as a good and faithful Christian member of this UCCP Cosmopolitan Church, a concerned veteran, and as my cousin for all of my eight decades, as his cousin in die. Yes, some of you may not know, but we are first cousins. Our mothers and our sisters, Henobeba and Angela. I am lucky and honored to have been named after Auntie Ilang, Manong Eddie's mother. While I am so honored, it's also a hard act to follow. But FBR is natural. He did what his mom did. For our family to be together, whether it was good times or bad times. He made sure that we were there for his inauguration. It did not matter to him where you are coming from. You know, you have to be there and join and celebrate his inauguration. For the opening and dedication of the Crispina Marcos Valdez Memorial Library and Museum in Batak City, we also were there. During times of sadness, he was also there. When my brother, the late Colonel Ramon A. Timtiman of the Philippine Air Force, passed away at a young age of 49, he was there, assured me that he would investigate the misdiagnosis of the military hospital. He did and told me of the changes implemented. Manong Eddy also bought the Harley Davidson mot motorcycle of my brother. He thought since my nephews were quite young, they had no use for it. Besides, I'm sure the money that he gave my sister-in-law would be helpful. But what he did was to donate it to an organization that needed it. That's what the kind of person that he was. Now, the Veterans Memorial Medical Center, where my uncle, Dr. William Valdez, was the medical director, it was the family's go-to place for our health problems. On January 26, 1991, shortly after I arrived from New York, my mother passed away, and within a matter of minutes, Manong Eddie was there, check, checking on things and telling me to tell him whatever was needed. Our membership with the UCCB Cosmopolitan Church was something we inherited. We inherited CJ and Patrick. Our parents, the Valdez sisters and the Ramos brothers, were members of the church from the very beginning. Manong Eddy would be there to attend service on numerous occasions. He would have attended more if not for his 25-8 schedule. Remember, his day was 25 hours and his week was eight days, not the usual 24-7. Financially, he also did. When I was chair of the church's board of trustees, he wanted me to choose and prioritize the needed projects. 
We combined the church admin office to be more efficient. We renovated the second floor kitchen where some four-legged visitors decided to stay. Then there was the fourth floor dormitory extension. With FBR's generosity, we were able to buy split-type air conditioner for the more expensive rooms. It helped increase the dormitory, resident count, and income. There were other things that he did because he was, you know, UCC Cosmopolitan Church was so close to his heart. And I was lucky to work with him during the time I was with the Board of Trustees. The last project, the final project I supervised was the repair and the wiring of the Angela Valdez Ramos Chapel, where we had the live streamed services during the COVID lockdown. The UCCP, the UCCP Cosmopolitan Church is most grateful for FBR's generosity and for his example as a good and faithful son of God, our Father. I would, however, be remiss if I don't mention FBR as a concerned veteran. We also inherited from our parents the value of service to serve our fellow men and our community. As a veteran, he was very concerned about the benefits long due the veterans of World War II. When he was elected president, the veterans of the New York, New Jersey area cheered. I have been involved with the Filipino American community since, early, since the early 70s. At the time of his election, I was president of the Philippine American Communities Executive Council, the umbrella organization in the Northeast region of the United States. As a member of the, organ of the umbrella, the Philippine Veterans Association asked me to request for an appointment so that they could meet the president. I made the request with the Philippine consulate in New York City, the ones arranging the visit. But with the visit getting closer, there was still no response. So I decided to go straight to Malacanang. And sure enough, within 48 hours, maybe less, we got the scheduled meeting in place. And that, of course, made the veterans very happy. I'm sure you are aware of the things he tried to do for our veterans. He made sure the Office of the Veterans Affair in Washington, D.C. was funded and working for the Filipino Veterans Equity Compensation. He raised this um, problem with President, Clint, with President Clinton during his visit to the White House. Finally, President Obama signed the American Recovery and Reinvested, Reinvestment Investment Act on February, 14, for February 17, 2009, authorizing the release of the one-time lump sum payment to eligible war, war, World War II veterans. So since, 1929, so since 2029, some 224 million has been distributed to our veterans. Isn't that great? and hooray for FBR for not giving up. I am so happy that during Manong Eddy's lifetime, he saw those old and weak veterans recognized and compensated for his service, for their service. There are many, many more stories of Manong Eddy's service to the Filipino people and to our family. He would be very, very hard act to follow. But in his honor, but in his honor, kaya natin, hindi ba? Kaya natin. Yes, Manong Eddie, kaya namin. Thank you for your love and service, Manong. Rest in peace.
us all rise for the reading of our scripture taken from the book of Romans chapter 14 verses 7 to 9. We do not live to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of our Lord.
in behalf of the UCCP Cosmopolitan Church as one of the pastors we would like to extend our deepest condolences and prayers to their Valdez and Ramos family thank you choir for that very meaningful and powerful peace living well dying well to the Lord good evening sisters and brothers in faith good evening because even amidst the reality of death still we can proclaim the good news of God's eternal saving grace in Christ Jesus thus this necrological service in thanksgiving to God for the life of our brother the 12th president of the Republic of the Philippines His Excellency Honorable Fidel Valdez Ramos Herman A. Moldes once wrote death is usually not a welcome and wholesome subject to talk about most people do everything to avoid and prevent death but sooner each one of us will come face to face with our own death in fact from the time we were born we started our pilgrimage to the grave it is just a matter of timing the mature and responsible way is to face death straight from the eye to the eye and manage our own dying because as saint paul says in first corinthians chapter 15 verse 55 in christ death loses its sting we are finite, finite being. Death reminds us of our own mortality. We are made of dust, and to dust we return. Modern medicines and medical technology may extend life at the right price. However, soon death will visit even the richest person at a time he or she does not expect death's visit if our attitude is right awareness to death can enrich our life death can teach us to live well it can guide us to make right choices consciousness of death can help us find meaning in life and prevent us from simply existing we face death by learning how to live we prepare to die well by living well when we take our death seriously we grow in greater appreciation of life Life is a gift to celebrate in worship, like what we are doing today, in relationship with and service to God. We live well in gratitude to all God has given us over time, in playing and praying, fasting and eating, resting and sleeping, sharing ourselves with people we love and care so deeply. Our family and friends, our neighbors and countrymen. If we have lived a full life, then we are free even to die. 
But what does it really mean to live? By God's grace, I have seen its meaning in terms of the interconnecting and or complementing values of life in the very first name of President Fidel Valdez Ramos. Fidel. Admittedly, I cannot tell you beyond what I know about this highly distinguished patriotic public servant, statement, and a man of God. First, if faith in God and fidelity to his righteous kingdom. His mother, Angela Valdez Ramos, a Sunday school teacher for children of Cosmopolitan Church for several decades past, had been God's instrument in molding and instilling the Christian faith in Fidel's heart and mind through education and nurture. As the proverb says, train up a child in the way he should go and win. He is old. He will not turn from it. I would like to believe that Fidel lived a life inspired and guided by the wisdom of Proverbs chapter, Proverbs chapter 8, verses 5 to 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, and He will show you the right way. The trivia part of if we are XYZ files. A book I just received here last night from the family characterizes Fidel Valdez, Ra Valdez Ramos as a multi-faith man. To quote some, it says, if VR is a deeply religious person and makes time to read the Bible, he uses quotes from the Bible in many of his speeches and writings. He is also a prayerful man. A prayerful leader saying, Though we profess faith in the infinite mercy of Almighty God, we cannot just pray our way to progress. We must also perform capably. We must perform as we pray, and we must pray as we perform. He prays for the guidance of the God Lord and believes in God's law of nature, which is clearly enunciated in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. In the same book, the FBR XYZ files. At the back of the preface, I read these words of wisdom and faith of FBR. Our will, our hands, can only succeed if we change from within. From the abundance of the heart, say the preachers, the mouth speaks. And so let us then speak from the hearts that have been renewed by hope and purpose. By hope and purpose in ourselves. By hope and purpose and faith in the good Lord. I, intellectualism and idealism. President, if we are as a lot of books written containing his sermons, public speeches, etc., in serving God and country in many different capacities. The Fidel V. Ramos Learning Center at the main library of the Seliman University in Dumaguete City is one of the manifold examples which might have inspired a lot of students then and now with its intellectual idealism of patriotism through democratic nation building and good governance for peace and development of the Filipino people. The FBR XYZ files quoted part of his speech on February 15, 1992 
during the opening of the FBR Library Museum at the University of Pangasinan, Penma Campus in the Gupan. Acknowledging the importance of education, saying, it is not arms or position that confers power. It is education and knowledge. If I have reached this high point in my life, it is education that has made it possible. D. Devotion and dedication. He lived a life in devotion to God and dedication in serving his countrymen, both in church and society. If B.R. pointed out that Christians must be aware of their obligation, not only to themselves and to their families, but also to their society and country, his service to the people and country has been grounded on his devotion to God. E. He is an encouraging ED for enduring ecumenism. When he greeted the faithful attending the Easter or Resurrection Sunday worship service of the National Council of Churches in the Philippines held at the Tomas Murato Stadium sometime in April 2018 which I had a privilege to attend. After guided by the assistant to the center stage, still using his rod, then suddenly handed over the rod to his assistant and surprisingly jump up. Yeah. Tumalong po siya. At hindi po natumba. The age of between 89 or 90. Nasumunod ang isang masigabong at magalang nahiyawan at palakpakan. For me, as he emphasized during that day, age doesn't matter in manifesting our endurance, in upholding ecumenism, and advancing ecumenical movements toward Christian unity in diversity, for the cause and fidelity to God's kingdom in these changing or challenging times. You know, signing with his thumbs up, saying in loud voice, Mga kasama, kaya natin ito. Last but not the last, ill. Love for God and love for country. Most, if not all, of us here are witnesses on how President Fidel manifested his love for God and love for his country in many different ways. The highest being, or capacities, the highest being the 12th President of the Republic of the Philippines. But, before the Filipino people voted him to sit in that highest position of the land, was his uncompromising highest moral judgment and decision leading, among others, the famous 1986 It's a People Power Revolution, or some people call it uprising, for the emancipation of this benighted country from tissue political malady and even moral bankruptcy. But even beyond such high position, Melandro T. Velasco narrated in the preface of the FBR XYZ files, which states, other former chiefs of states write their memoirs and then fade into the sunset. Not with FBR, who has written close to 30 books while in retirement and through keynote speeches, roundtable discussions, university convocations, keeps reminding his successors 
and other leaders of the urgent things that need to be done for our country and people to achieve a progressive and sustainable future. Most people think of living well in terms of long life. Thus, they do everything to prolong life by staying physically fit and healthy. But many have lived long in misery. Others lived short but were very happy. It is not the length of life, but its depth. Not the duration, but its meaning that gives quality life. Death can teach us what really matters in life. We can spend our days in this world, no matter how short, fresh, and fruitful, fulfilled, and full. But life is not only bodily existence. Adam became a living being because God has breath into his nostril, the breath of life. The human body becomes alive through the infusion of breath or spirit into, man, into the man. It is only when the spirit of God lives in the body that we became fully alive in our spirit. So even if we are physically wasting away, we are inwardly renewed by the power of life. By living our life in the body by the spirit, we discover the highest quality of life that will last for eternity. Life in the spirit, which is the spiritual life, is experiencing the eternal life now. As believers, we live not just in this temporal world. We live within the age to come that has already invaded history. We will also live beyond eternity. Living from eternity gives meaning to life constantly visited by trouble and tragedy, poverty and injustice, sickness and disease, and even death. Since life never ends in this fallen world that is decaying and dying, we can persevere. We look forward to something new. Instead of being weakened by affliction and anguish of the broken world, we learn to wait in hope as we drew our strength to God. Instead of giving up life to the forces of death, we rise and say yes to life. For we believe that the present suffering is nothing in comparison for the glory to come. Life is a journey that will enter into the fullness of God's kingdom. The spiritual life of President Fidel Valdez Ramos is victorious in God's righteous kingdom because he manifested a life of living well and dying well to the Lord. We are not losing him because God's eternal saving grace in Jesus Christ keeps if we are back to his glorious kingdom. Yes, we are one with the Apostle Paul's faith affirmation in Romans chapter 14, verse 8. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. And finally, in Philippians chapter 1, verse 21, the Apostle Paul says, For me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. In the name of God, the Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. Amen. Let us all rise for the, our statement of faith. 
The resurrection of Jesus Christ has overcome the power of death and give assurance of life after death. And we look forward to his coming again in all fullness and glory to make all creation new and to gather all the faithful under God's kingdom. Amen. Please be seated. gesture of appreciation from Mr. Ricardo Balbido, Chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Siliman University.
Good evening. Much has already been said about the life of our much loved and beloved uh, President, President Fidel Valdez uh, Ramos. And many more, it will not end here, many more will still be said. Especially para from all of the other people who are not here, whose lives have been touched by our President. Tonight, I'll be delivering a message of gratitude, a tribute to our president from uh, Siliman University. The life eternal, and I will be reading it so that I won't miss any word. His Excellency Fidel V. Ramos became the president of the Fil Republic of the Philippines after a long and distinguished career in public service, through which he demonstrated excellent performance and the highest degree of uh, patriotism. The president's track record is not surprising for one. With such rich academic background, having graduated from the US Military Academy at West Point, New York. President Fidel Valdez Ramos had a distinguished record of public service even before becoming president. And his public service did not end after his presidency. He continued to be involved in matters of public interest, including making himself available to advise subsequent presidents when asked, doing private citizen initiatives in foreign affairs, including in the BOA Forum in China, and projects through his Ramos Peace and Development Foundation. Through the years, President Fidel Valdez Ramos has been a steadfast friend of Silliman University. In fact, he is an alumnus. This included scuba diving expeditions around the nearby coral reefs that Silliman scientists and students have helped preserve. The establishment of the President Fidel V. Ramos Room in 2014 at the Robert Benton Silliman and Meta Jacobs Silliman Library, containing his published books from 1993 to 2017. He has also been a guest speaker on campus on different occasions and was instrumental in reopening the university during the Marcelo, Marcelo days. in friendship in 1972. His visit during those difficult times extended his hand of friendship to assure Silliman University of his support. At that time, it was his the unique but pleasant task in facilitating the release of the Silimanian detainees and declared that the university was already free to reopen after a period of closure. In August 28, 1993, Silliman University conferred on President Fidel Valdez Ramos the degree of Doctor of Humanities Honoris Causa. That's why he is an alumnus of Silliman University. He was cited for having been elected as the first Protestant Filipino president for launching peace initiatives and promoting international relations, devoting work to support church affairs on both local and national levels, and living life fully in the service of others. 
on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the Silliman University community. We extend our condolences to Mrs. Amelita Martinez Ramos and family on the passing of His Excellency Fidel Valdez Ramos. Dr. Fidel Valdez Ramos had touched the lives of many and was a blessing to his family and friends in the same way he was a blessing to us. At Silliman University, we join you in our prayers. Given on the fifth day of August, 2022, in Dumaguete City, Philippines, signed by Mr. Ricardo A. Balbido Jr., the Chair of the Board of Trustees, and Betty McCann, President of Silliman University. Thank you very much for this uh, opportunity to express our gratitude and for the con Cosmopolitan UCCP for giving us this opportunity and this venue. Thank you. Uh, hi, good evening. Uh, I'm Patrick Halasco, the fourth grandson of FVR. Um, and on behalf of the Ramos family, uh, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you very much to UC UCCP Cosmopolitan Church. Uh, I think the church has served as a main guide for my grandfather throughout uh, his decades of service. Uh, despite his many, many, many accomplishments, he has remained grounded, a uh, simple man. And I think it's mainly because of the lessons that he has learned through uh, the UCCP Cosmopolitan Church. He knew that, it, that he will always be a servant of God. Um, and in that everything that he did, uh, I think he dedicated it, of course, uh, in uplifting others, but most especially in giving glory to God. Uh, and with that, uh, we are very, very thankful. And also, um, I think more than this, as a memorial of my grandfather and his many accomplishments, I think um, the services are really a celebration of how great our God is and how blessed are we and how much we are loved for allowing us to be part of uh, the life of my grandfather and for allowing my grandfather to touch our lives. Um, and I think it's through my grandfather that we're able to see God's love uh, in so many, many ways. Uh, so again, thank you, thank you so much on behalf of the Ramos family. Thank you. Let us all rise for our closing hymn, Because He Lives.
God, our Heavenly Father, whose goodness is everlasting and whose mercies never fail. Yours is the beauty of life and yours is the light that shines in the face of age. We commend to you those who mourn. May your strength and consolation be given to them and endure them with all holy thoughts and a living hope. Grant that the words of your Holy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, may breath peace into their troubled hearts. May they be assured that the love in which they rejoice for a season is not lost, but their loved one, Fidel Valdez Ramos, who has been taken from their physical sight, is with you safe in the internal, eternal love and care through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. And now, may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.
Ako si Fidel Valdez Ramos. Ay mataimtim na nanunumpa na tutuparin ko. Ay mataimtim na nanunumpa na tutuparin ko. Ng buong katapatan at sigasig. Ng buong katapatan at sigasig. Ang aking mga tungkulin. Ang aking mga tungkulin. Bilang Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Bilang Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Pangangalagaan at ipagtatanggol ang kanyang konstitusyon. Pangangalagaan at ipagtatanggol ang kanyang konstitusyon. Ipatutupad ang mga batas nito. Ipatutupad ang mga batas nito. Magiging makatarungan sa bawat tao. Magiging makatarungan sa bawat tao. At itatalaga ang aking sarili. At itatalaga ang aking sarili. Sa paglilingkod sa bansa. Sa paglilingkod sa bansa. Kasihan nawa ako ng Diyos. Kasihan nawa ako ng Diyos. Maraming salamat po.
2,000 is pamsak. We can do it. Kaya natin ito, mga Pilipino. Ang kaisa tayo, magsama-sama tayo, magtulong-tulong tayo, ang hamon sa atin eh, kaya ba natin ito? Kapakayin na sa video. Kapakay-sabay yung pangkarigin dun sa Patanes, Tawi-Tawi, Marina, Ilocos, Cebu, Tapao. Kaya ba natin? sa Tawi-Tawi, sa Pangasinan, sa Quezon, at saka sa buong Pilipinas. Isigaw natin, kaya ba? Kaya, kaya. Kaya ba natin ito, mga kapabayan? Kaya natin yan. Kaya natin magtalumpay. Don't forget, this is our symbol for Philippines 2000. Ito ang ating bagong simbolo, mga kapatid. Thumbs up. Kaya ba natin ito? Ilakas na nyo para maringi kung sa lawag, kung nandun sa may Tawi-Tawi. Kaya ba natin ito? Alam nyo, sa atin sa Pilipinas, lagi nating ipinagmamalaki yung ating tinatawag na bibingka. Hindi ko ba? Ano ba itong bibingka ng Pilipino na sinasabi ng ating Pangulo? Yan po ay yung donut na walang buta sa gitna. At yan po ay ninuloto sa pamamagitan ng paglalagay ng apoy sa ilalim at apoy sa ibabaw. At yan po ay pinabalansin natin. Hindi ko ba? Balansing balansin. Very well balanced, and on one without the other is going to result in a cooking failure. Only kung tayo ay marunong magluto ng bibingka, ano na pa kasi rin siya tayo, di ba? And that precisely symbolizes our economic growth program. I use three words to emphasize this particular point that we must always remember: unity and solidarity. Leading to teamwork. Kaya ba ninyo ito? Napakahinasagot ninyo. Hindi, sabay-sabay. Handali lang. Taas mo. Lahat tayo mga Pilipino. Teamwork. Kaya ba? Kaya ba natin ito? Kaya ba natin ito? The best is coming. And in many areas. The best has already happened. Kaya huwag nyong kalimutan ang ating simbolo na kaya natin ito ay yung thumbs up. Thumbs up. Kaya ba natin ito? We can do it. You know, I am not used to public speaking. I was ready in fact to sing a song. Ay ito naman ang sakripisyo, ay ito naman ang kalamidad. Kung tayo nagpapanasama, kung tayo nagpakaisa, ay ito naman ang kahirapan. Kaya natin ito. Kaya natin ito. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay Philippines 2000. Mabuhay Pilipinas. Thank you very much.